What's up, YouTube? Like, comment, subscribe, that little vibe. Alright, this video is about five things you need to know before you get into trucking. Number one, first thing you need to know before you get into trucking is that you're going to be working like 12 to 14 hours a day. 12 to 14 hours a day. Before I got into trucking, I was doing some, um, I was on Amazon delivering, delivering for Amazon. I was working like 10 hours a day, uh, four days a week. Yeah, four days a week. So now I'm working five days a week, 12 to 14 hours a day. It's a little different. You gotta go harder, you know what I'm saying? There's more hours out here. So if you're not ready to work like that, don't even get into trouble. Number two, So the second thing you need to know before you get into trucking is that you need your sleep. If you don't get six to eight hours of sleep, this day is gonna be dangerous for you out here. There's dudes that um, think they can sleep three, four hours and, and get back to work and start driving. And they end up getting behind this wheel, falling asleep, and they end up dying out here. So, before you get into trucking, make sure you, you able to sleep six to eight hours. If you ain't gonna be sleeping six to eight hours, it's gonna be crazy for y'all. So, number three, the third thing you need to know about, the third thing you need to know before you get into trucking is you, 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 you might miss out on some holidays. My account, my job's a little bit different. I'm off on the major holidays like Christmas, New Year's, New Year's Eve, and all that. I'm off on the days. Thanksgiving, I'm off. So, it's a little bit different for me. But, um, a lot of truck drivers gotta work and be away from their families and all that for the, for the holidays. And, yeah, that ain't easy. That ain't easy, so. Before you get into truck and make sure know that you might get into a job where you're going to miss the holidays, you're going to be away from your families for birthdays and, and situations like that. Some dudes is over the road, you know, they, they do the over the road thing, they be out a week, two weeks at a time. I'm home every day because I got a family back at home, I can't be out like that, so my, my situation is a little bit different. Um, what I'm up to? Four. The fourth thing you, you need to know before you get into trucking is that you could be a good driver and all that. You can know how to drive, you know what you're doing. But there's other people out here that you be doing dumb shit. They might cut in front of you, step on any brakes, all type of crazy shit. So before you get into trucking, you need to know you could be a good driver, but there's other people people that, you know, be out here bugging. So, you gotta be on point at all times. You gotta be looking back and forth. I'm driving right now, like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta always be on point. Um, it's, it's a lot of dudes that be out here speeding in these trucks. We be, we be um, driving with uh, 40,000 pounds in our trailer sometimes. They be going 70, 80 miles per hour, and they end up crashing out they like so before you get into trucking make sure you're patient you know you gotta be able to do the speed limit sometimes dudes go a little bit faster but doing all that extra 80 90 miles per hour and it ain't working just because you're trying to get somewhere fast you end up losing your life it ain't working um number five Fifth thing you need to know before you get into trucking. You need to know how to manage your time. You need to know how to manage your time. Especially if you got a family. Because we work 12 hours. Some dudes do a 10 hour reset. I, 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 I'm usually home for like 12 hours. So I go to sleep, get my little six hours of sleep in. 
you know, I want to go to the gym, work out. I got a family. I got, you know, got to be around my family and spend time with them. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to know how to manage that time. So I, I, I work 12 hours, go home, shower. I try to go to bed or, you know, either I go to the gym, shower, then go to bed or something in that order. But I make sure I got at least five, five, four, five hours with my family. You know, we watch TV together, eat, you know, stuff like that. Cause some dudes get, get in this truck and they end up, you know, getting divorced or, you know, losing their family behind this trucking situation. Cause they not, they, they not managing the time right. You gotta spend time with your family or, ain't gonna go right for me. Um, that was number five, right? I think if I want to go two more. Alright, let, let's go two more. Now. Um, number six. Before you get into trucking, you gotta know that a lot of dudes come out here, they get into this trucking, and they end up they end up like losing themselves in the truck. They end up gaining a whole bunch of weight. Like I'm, I was already heavy before I got into trucking. So when I got into trucking, I, I noticed that a lot of truck drivers was heavy, they big, fat, overweight. They, they don't care about their health and stuff like that. So I said, when I get into trucking, I'm gonna make sure I stay on top of my health. I'm gonna make sure I work out, eat right. You know, when you out here on the road, in, the, in these truck stops, all they got is like, you know, they got all that junk food, fast food, all that bullshit food. So sometimes I try to come out here, like right now I got one of these, um, I had made one of these in my crib. I had made a um, little smoothie. Sometimes you gotta, you know what I mean? Get right, man. Can't be out here looking crazy. A lot of dudes be, getting high blood pressure, diabetes, and all that because they're not taking care of their health out there. So, stay on top of your health. You, know, you gotta be able to stay on top of your health. When you're out here in this truck, man, you're gonna lose yourself. All right, number seven, this is the last one. Number seven, I'm gonna freestyle this one because I ain't really think about it. So, number seven. you get into trucking before you Take get into trucking on the right to I-95 north then keep left I just got distracted before you get into trucking you need to know how to save money that's this is a good one because before before I got into truck I was doing Amazon making like six hundred dollars a week and, you know, I was living check to check. Then I got into trucking. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm making a little bit more. I'm probably making, like, you know, more than that. More than a thousand a week, I should say. So, it's like when you make more, you spend more. So, when I first got into trucking, I, I'm seeing all this money. But I'm spending more money. And I'm like, what the hell? Why I can't save the money? And it's... It's a mind thing, you gotta lock in. Yo, I'm gonna put this aside for the week. This is what I'm gonna spend. So, you gotta be out, when you out here, you gotta know how to manage your money. If not, you're gonna be living check to check. Every every week, you're gonna be broke until you get your next check. You ain't trying to live like that. It's not a, it's not a good way to live, bro. All right, that's the last thing. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all know the five.